Imagine hiking up a mountain in the middle of a storm, your gear soaked and racing against time to capture the perfect day to night holy grail time lapse. Today, I'm going to show you the one piece of equipment that make it all possible. My new favorite lightweight travel tripod. Whether you are shooting with a heavy Canon R5C Cinema Grace Immersive 180 camera, capturing 360 time lapse, or doing both simultaneously, this tripod can handle it all. In this video, I will share my first hand experience using this tripod during our intense filming trip in Taipei and Jiufen for our upcoming immersive film on Apple Vision Pro. We face extreme weather, challenge terrains, and tight shooting schedule. Did this tripod live up to the hype? You're about to find out. This video goes beyond a simple review. I will show you how I captured day to night immersive time lapse, how it doubled as a monopole, and how to shoot 260 photo with a professional camera without an extra panel head. Let's get started. Ooh, get windy. Hey, what's up everybody? Why now we are in the platform of Elephant Mountain. Behind me is the Taipei 101 and the sun is disappeared because we have really bad weather in Taiwan. But today is the last day here, so we are gonna capture it anyway. Uh, so behind me is the brand new unreleased, well actually released already, uh, tree roof tripod. Uh, quite a really good stability on this really weird angle. And the camera sticking out right here with this leveling system right here. Um, yeah, so here the Canon R5C doing a time lapse, uh, and then the Insta 2C X4 also doing 2C time lapse right here for extra stability because the platform is moving like crazy when people walk around. Uh, we have this thing tied into the platform right here. Uh, this is the uh, felt cam uh, shoulder strap. We just modify it as an extra stability, tied it into the metal piece. So provide a four point stability. Time lapse is all about stability, so it's really important to just make it stable. Let's go over some unique feature of the Felcam Tree Root Tripod. It's made with miniature grade M40 carbon fiber, making it incredible solid for long exposure photography in windy weather. Despite its sturdiness, it's lightweight at just 1.5 kg, balancing perfectly with my heavy DJI RS4 VR180 system. And its triangular tube design instead of circular tube, great fit for my hand when I am doing a technical moving shot like this and quickly serve as my travel monopod alternative. The tripod features a one-third turns to release all section, offering a quick release system. However, it's not as fast to retract. You will need to manually lock each section with a one-third turn. While it's faster than some brands, it's not as quick as YC Onion or Satchelor, which I have reviewed right here. This tripod can hold a serious amount of weight with a maximum payload of 20 kg and is fully compatible with the Arcus Swift locking system. This compatibility is a key reason I choose the Felcam Chiru for VR 1D filmmaking. My Canon R5C usually mount on an Arcus Swift rail system, sticking out from the tripod leg as you see right here, with a counterweight like my Insta360 X4 fully extended B cam. This system is heavy, but the tripod supports it with ease. When I need height and stability, the fully extended center column can support up to 10 kg at 1.5 meters. This means I can quickly balance my DJI RS4 VR 1D camera package on top without removing it from the gimbal, which is a huge time saver for on-the-go shooting. So levels right here, boom, and level it really fast, one step level. Uh, you get just the, the string right here, if it's too heavy, because one is actually a very heavy system. Uh, you don't see the leg right here because it's just so narrow. Again, I can that this cap off, right? As you can't see a leg, so just I will lean forward, boom. Hey Hugh, how did you get all these bug bites? Uh, yeah, so Taiwan is uh, famous for bug. They love my meat. So make sure that you bring enough like, bug repellent. Uh, if not, what were you doing last night though? That uh, I was in night market and trying to do a time lapse with this same system. And, and when doing a time lapse uh, with eight seconds like, uh, interval, you, you can't move your camera. So the, I had to like, hold the camera down. Like hold my breath, just let the mosquito eat me up and do the time lapse. And hopefully I should get it. So you did it for the shot? I did it for the shot, yeah. Wow. Dedication right there. The tripod also allows for upside down camera mounting and super low angle shooting with the butterfly latch. Though not used in VR 1D filmmaking, 
is handy for switching to regular 3A or 1.4 flat heads for 360 camera mounting. These flat heads are also included in the package. The bow head is okay. You have this clip damping adjustment knob right here to provide more precise level adjustment. But when you have a heavy camera system, the level adjustment is not as easy even with the dampening on the bow head. So I will still advise for a professional leveler like the Arca Swift right here for fast and precise level adjustment. It has a full 260 panel head feature right here. So you can do 260 photography with just the tripod if you also has the Falcam vertical camera mounting here. Of course, you will need a short fisheye lens like what I use right here. Check the review of this lens here. The hook at the end right here in the center column has some hidden feature. You can hold my United backpack for extra stability, but it also detectable to serve as a screwdriver. The tripod has F22 and Arca style mounting point for accessory. But my favorite feature is the carrying strap hole for the Falcon magnetic shoulder strap. This strap makes carrying the tripod easy and can be used creatively to tie the shoulder strap to something to provide a four point support if I need to lean my tripod forward or extra security in high risk area in case the tripod knocked down by unpredictable surprise. I can even quickly connect one end of the shoulder strap onto my gimbal briefcase handle and use it like this. That extra point of contact give me stability that is badly needed for one and gun immersive filmmaking. The tripod legs has rubber feet and spike, great for terrain that require you to spike in. Finally, travel and hiking with it, it is a lot easier than other professional tripod. It fit nicely on my very cheap United Z backpack right here. By the way, this $90 travel backpack is the best camera backpack I ever owned. It, it protects my camera gear in unpredictable weather in Jiufen. I don't get backpack sponsored like other influencers do, so every penny counts. Oh, this video also is not sponsored. I do receive the pre-production of the Tribal tripod right here for free to do this real world test for you, but I have no obligation to make any video. I am a customer of Falcam Gears and bought lots of their other products as I trust their brand and their build quality. Okay, now let's talk about how I use this tripod to do a date to night holy grail VR 1ND time lap on location. Okay, why not we are on top of the temple doing a holy grail time lap. What holy grail time lap is, which are capture from uh, from daylight to uh, sunset to nighttime, and then we get the beautiful light change uh, in VR 180. Again, today the sun it's been raining in Taipei, Taiwan, so we don't get the sun. So really, we don't have holy grail. We just have like no sun time lap. But anyway, we try to demo you uh, how we do it holy grail time lap and how to like capture time lap in VR 1D just like how Apple do it in, on Apple Vision Pro. So why right here, it's actually the most important thing to doing a holy grail time lap or any time lap in VR 1D is support system. You need to have a very stable support system. Uh, also, because uh, <laughs> uh, and also, he just shake his camera. But anyway, um, and another thing, really important thing is we need to travel. We're gonna be light because we are travel in Taipei, Taiwan. We gotta carry light. If you point the camera out that way, we have like two backpack, heavy backpack with a full-on gimbal DJI RS4 with a VR one camera. Like we have a lot of gear, so carry it on my shoulder. Travel is no fun. So that's why we want a support system is lightweight and also sturdy. So this is the brand new uh, Chiru uh, from United Z and Falcam, brand new tripod system. And it's literally my favorite tripod system right now. It's really light, but it's fully carbon fiber uh, built. It's very solid. Look at that. Uh, I put it leaning against the welding right here. Three leg is not even because VR one of the another thing is it can't be even. But the camera have to point out so hide the tripod leg. So what the camera have to be kind of weird. So the center column go up and then the head gotta level it. So this has really cool. So if you come over here, the camera see this is near not right here. Well, I can adjust the string uh, of the turn right here. Uh, then then to create the the tension right there to make the camera level, like the camera level. So the camera has to be level. So if you see the thing right here, it's level. So, so level and also doesn't see the tripod leg right here. And other thing about uh, Holy Grail time lap, come over here, can you just film right here, this screen right here? 
yeah. One thing about Holy Grail time lapse is I need to manually adjust the setting right here. As you see, looking at the, uh, the histogram right here and looking on the uh, meter right here. So right now is I think if you look at the image, it's a little bit too dark right now. So I need to manually adjust shutter speed. So hold the camera, kitty. So I'm gonna be really careful. Time it. Okay, right now. Boom. So one over twenty-five. Uh, so now. You can see the light meter, it go, it went up. Uh, get it a little bit light. Yeah, that's focus. So right now, see that? It went up a little bit, so now a little bit brighter, so I can capture the cloud and also the shadow, so it's not too dark. So in post, we're going to like even out the exposure. So holy ground time is really important. Like this is why I always constantly touching the camera, so the support system has to be really sturdy. Uh, so so the support me touching the camera at the same time, the wind in here and all the other variable to create a beautiful time lapse and. Look at that way, like this beautiful skyline of Taiwan, Taipei City. Uh, we are not capturing because the camera point that way. Because Kitty said this way is better because sunset in that way, yes. The sun is sitting that way, but the sunset behind the cloud. And another thing is, if you're doing a, oh nice, we get a boat. Uh, if you're doing a, 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 a sunset time lap, another thing is using, a, using, using some kind of app. I use a sun tracker AR. So it's an AR filter right here to let me know where the sun is. It, the sun is set behind the, the cloud and the mountain, so we're not going to see it. That's why it, it's actually a bad spot to sunset time lapse uh, because it's a, the sun is set behind the cloud, so we're not going to see it. Uh, but at least we know now where the sun is setting uh, with the AR filter so we can track the sun, put the camera to the sun so we actually get a sunset. So yeah, so that's all my trick to do a, a day to night transition holy grail time lap with the Canon R5C with a brand new support system from UNIZ and Felcam. Uh, yep, thank you guys. The Felcam Tree Root Chapo Chai Bar is very sturdy, but it is also very stiff. It can be used as a fast deploy monopod, but it's still not a fast deploy monopod. If you do not need stability, but you want the fastest support system you can get for VR warranty filmmaking that can go high, you should check out my next review video right here with the Vice Onion Quick Deploy Monopod. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe for more insights on budget camera gears designed for travel professionals and immersive filmmakers who can't rely on traditional gear. See you in the next video.